Supernatural was one of the most successful TV shows of the 2000s. It was really popular while it aired, and it was arguably the CW's biggest success before the Arrowverse shows really took off and became the network's most valuable content. So it's really no surprise to hear that the CW hired Supernatural's creator, Eric Kripke, to develop a show based on the classic DC Comics character Dead Man. This was back in 2011, around the time that Smallville ended and the CW was looking into replicating their huge success with that show by creating a new TV series set in the DC Universe and Dead Man was one of the characters they were considering working on. The show was announced to be in development by multiple news outlets in 2011 where they described the synopsis of the show as focusing on murdered circus performer Boston Brand who has come back as a spirit and inhabits other people's bodies to help them solve crises in their own lives while he also investigates the mystery of his own murder. That synopsis sounds kinda similar to the show The Ghost Whisperer, but in reverse. You know, The Ghost Whisperer with Jennifer Love Hewitt. And it also sounds kinda similar to how his story usually goes in the comics, where Boston Brand by the League of Assassins member Hook and he came back to life by the will of the goddess Ramakrishna. So it's possible that those characters from the comics might have also appeared in the show if it was made. Ultimately, nothing else was ever heard of the show, most likely because the CW passed on it in order to create other DC shows. Around that time, they also filmed a pilot for a Wonder Woman TV show starring actress Adrienne Palicki, which wasn't really well received, so they opted not to make that one as well, which turned out for the best, because they were also considering making a Green Arrow spin-off from Smallville, a spin-off which eventually morphed into a Green Arrow show set in a new continuity completely unrelated to Smallville which of course turned out to be Arrow, a show that started the immensely successful Arrowverse which gave the CW years worth of stories told throughout multiple shows. As far as Supernatural's creator Eric Kripke, this wasn't the first or last time that he was involved with a comic book TV show because during the mid 2000s he was also rumored to be in talks to develop a show for DC based on Neil Gaiman's Sandman, one of the many many attempts to adapt that classic series into television before it was adapted by Netflix this year in 2022 and Eric Kripke is also the showrunner of the fantastic Amazon Prime show The Boys. So if you were wondering why Jensen Ackles appeared in season 3, well, there you go. And you also might be surprised to know that this wasn't the first time that Dead Man was attempted to be adapted into live action. Back in the year 2000, it was announced by TNT that they were developing a Dead Man TV movie based on a completed script written by Jason Pomerantz, which was later revised in 2003 by Neil Marshall Stevens the writer of the horror movie 13 Ghosts. TNT had also reported that the TV movie could serve as a pilot for a series, but in the end nothing else was ever announced or reported on and the project never materialized. Besides those two cancelled television projects, Dead Man is also always reported on in news regarding a film adaptation of the Justice League Dark. A movie that has been stuck on development hell in DC and Warner Brothers since 2013 that we know of. At one point, Guillermo del Toro was attached to direct and write the project until he stepped off later down the line. But in the years since he has abandoned the project, there have been multiple concept arts released on the internet, which were done by concept artist Justin Fields and that show some of the members that would have included this Justice League Dark in the movie. And they showed characters like Jason Blood, Zatanna, Constantine, Swamp Thing, and of course Dead Man, who had a design that I very much liked personally. And I have no doubt that if a Justice League Dark movie or show ends up happening, Dead Man will surely be one of its members. So yeah, there you go. Those were three projects that would have featured Dead Man in them. And I want to ask you, what would you prefer? To see a Dead Man TV show or would you prefer a Justice League Dark movie or TV show? 
because me personally, I've always wanted to see a Justice League Dark adaptation into live action. And I got so excited years back when the news broke out that Guillermo del Toro was working on a Justice League Dark movie for DC. I got so excited and so disappointed when it never happened in the end. But I still would love to see a Justice League Dark movie eventually. And I also wouldn't be against seeing more Dead Man solo stories where he's the main focus. Because I also really liked the episodes of Justice League Unlimited and Batman the Brave and the Bold that focused on him. So I wouldn't be against seeing more Deadman stories where he's the main focus. So yeah, tell me your opinions on Deadman and Justice League Dark and hell even Supernatural if you like.